something about that song that just make you want to get up and bust a mother move. Kiwi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey, my name is Kiwi. I create hair, makeup, crochet, cooking, baking, and vlog videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. I will be posting every Wednesday and Saturday. In today's video, you'll be watching me make homemade chicken pot pie. The next time I make chicken pot pie, I will make an actual tutorial. I got started later than I wanted to though, so that's why I didn't make a tutorial. But I'm starting off by chopping my vegetables. The vegetables I cut um, were carrots, onions, parsley, green onions, a jalapeno, celery, and a few more that I can't remember, but just know this had a lot of vegetables in it. Then I started on the chicken, cutting any fat off of it, and then I seasoned them very well, browned it in a cast iron skillet on both sides, and then I threw it in the oven just to save my time and my sanity. Now I'm starting on my pie crust. I made four, but three for, were for the pot pies and one of them were for a peach cobbler. And if you wanna learn how to make a peach cobbler, I will also have my recipe for that linked in my bio. And now um, it's time for me to cook the vegetables down so they can soften up some before I construct the whole pie. Okay. So the only reason why I didn't season the vegetable mix too much is because I had already seasoned the chicken very heavily and I made my own vegetable broth and I seasoned that very well too. So I didn't want it to overpower it. Like I can, you can put seasonings in, but you can't take it out. So I just wanted to, you know, see what I had to do before I just went all in with it. All right, so as you can see, I added in my sweet peas. Now I'm adding in some corn and then next I will be adding in some green beans. Okay, so now I added about like a third of a cup of flour to the mix and let it cook down just to get that flour smell out of there. And after it was all cooked down, I added one and one half cups of milk and then two and a half cups of vegetable broth and let that cook and thicken up. Then I started on the pie crust to put it in the pot. It, it's not a full process right here, y'all. It was getting late and I was getting tired. I'm not gonna lie. That's why it just jumps from this to the finished result. But it was really good, so y'all are just gonna watch me cut into it and plate it and all that good stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I promise I will make a tutorial for this next time. But thank you so much for watching again. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.